What's up guys, it's Chris, and today we are doing the Uber Eats Challenge. Okay, let's run through the Uber Eats Challenge. We want to make $1,000 in one day. This might seem like a little bit of a stretch, but it's possible. So let's run through our strategy how we're going to do this. So the first was waiting for a good run of quests. On these quests, we can see that if we did 30 trips, we'd be able to make an extra $150 off the get-go. The second part of our strategy is lining up them 30 quest trips with our 30 trips referral bonus for $500 extra. These both happen simultaneously, so the same 30 trips is going to add to both of these. Look, if you're not currently driving for Uber Eats, my link will be below in the description where you can click through and get a similar referral bonus yourself. So we know if we do 30 trips, we're going to make $650. The only unknown we have right now is that extra $350 to make it to a thousand. I don't know how much I'm gonna get paid per fare and I don't know how much I'm gonna get in tips across the day but hopefully if we follow this strategy across 30 trips we'll make $350 and we'll make it to that $1,000 mark. So this is my first day doing Uber Eats and there's a lot of things I've got unknowns as. I don't know where the hot spots are, I don't know where the good areas are, I don't know what the good times are. I've got two months of data on DoorDash but I have zero data on Uber Eats. This will potentially impact my earnings and order intakes. We are gonna do this for as long as it takes until we hit that referral bonus. Wish me luck, let's hit the road. Okay guys, we're on our very first Uber Eats order. Very exciting, $8.65 off to a cafe. It is 8.20 in the morning. Thought I'd log in 10 minutes before 8.30. I was intending to start at 8.30, so I thought, yeah, why not jumpstart the day? So let's get to this cafe. Let's do this. A few minutes later. Okay, coffee was dropped off. First order done. Awesome. We're straight onto another order though. Straight onto the second one. There was no downtime. Uh, it is busy. I thought it'd be slow in the mornings, but here we go. It is 10.30, we are two hours in. We've done seven deliveries, so we're well on track. We have earned $87.40, so let's keep this up. We're not even up to the lunch period where it gets busy, so fingers crossed it maintains this kind of consistency. Okay, I am on my first little bit of a wait. Just finished my eighth drop off. Uh, waiting for like three, four minutes so far. So I thought I'd pull over and just touch base what my thoughts are. The maps for Uber Eats is kind of dog shit. Um, I prefer Google Maps, uh, but when I've tried to pull across into Google Maps via the app, it's trying to use like a GPS location and it's kind of scuffing out a little bit. Uh, so it hasn't been, so it hasn't successfully been matching up the addresses. It kind of gets stuck on the loading, trying to match the GPS to a street address. Other than that, dollars per hour seems to be rolling through right now, so pretty stoked with that. But how little downtime there's been so far this morning's really surprised me when I'm comparing it across to DoorDash. So it's just a little bit past 11. We're about to kick into the lunch rush. So let's see what it brings. So it's 11.30, it's been 30 minutes without an order. This is kind of a given at this point. Essentially, I don't know where the busy areas are on Uber Eats. I've done a little bit of research around the restaurants and there are plenty of restaurants around me that do take Uber Eats orders. But because I haven't been driving for it, I don't know where to go, which suburbs are good, so on and so forth, for consistent, steady orders. We had a busy morning and I'm heading across into a lunch rush now. Hopefully, hopefully it's a lunch rush. We need this to pick up. We're on eight deliveries. We have 22 left to go to meet our challenge. Just got a tip off from my friend Khan, who's driving Uber Eats right now over in Kiwana, so a different suburb over. He said it is absolutely pumping over there right now. He's just back to back orders. I've had nothing for 30 minutes, so I'm changing across to where he's at. This is my turn. This is my turn. <laughs> you missed 50 bucks. Stupido. You stupido. He better not be messing with me. I swear to God. Ugh, if he's messing with me and wasting my time, I'm going to slash his tires. <laughs> Okay, it is 12 o'clock. We are on 10 deliveries now. Semi on track, I think. I think we've got a long grind ahead. So we're three and a half hours. We're a third of the way there. We're gonna hit our target. I just know it. Stand it for the grind, bro. Just stand it for the grind. Just grind it out. I need to stay positive. I know there's still so far to go, but we will achieve this. So I took Khan's advice. I went out to the zone where he said it was pumping. Took two orders there, super quick, um, awesome and then got an order for a groceries that went straight back to my original zone, taking a 20 minute drive to get there. Um, so I'm back in the original zone, just pumping out orders now. We are on order number 13. Oh, shut up, Uber Eats Maps, I hate you. Yeah, I think it's just the Uber Eats Maps. It's just doing my head in. It, it mispronounces all the Australian suburbs. 
mispronounces the Australian streets. It doesn't redirect around very well. Shit! Shit! Quiet! It's doing my head in. Ugh. I'm losing it. Taking a short break. It's really slowed down after two o'clock, so haven't had an order through for about, I don't know, 15 minutes, but that means it's time that I can eat some food. Got some Twiggy sticks and a Coke from Coles. So yeah, I'll just chill out, savor the moment, savor the downtime, get some food into me, re-energize, so we can do that last bit of the grind. Currently we're up to 17 deliveries. We have 13 left, so we are so close. We're past halfway. That is the glass half full mentality. The pros to these things, if they're cold, you can eat them. Or if you leave them in the car for too long and they heat up, they're still good hot. So it's a win-win food. You can't lose. Oh, fucking hell. The round debate on to Kawana Island Boulevard. Kawana, Kawana. It's Kawana. Come on, mate. You're killing me. Continue straight through the round debate on to Kawana Say Island it. Boulevard. Oh. Kawana, Kawana. Oh, Kawana. Okay, guys, order number 20, noodle box. We're getting there. We're smashing through this. We're 66% of the way there. Exit Mujibra towards in two kilometers. Take left. Exit Mujibra towards six. David Low Way. It's Majimba. No, but it's Majimba. Majimba. No, but oh, this, oh, these Uber maps suck, bro. It's like learn to learn to talk or something. I don't get it. I don't get it, mate. What's wrong with it? The end is in sight guys, the sun's starting to set, dinner rush is upon us, we're getting close to hitting our order target. Doing a subway pickup right now, we're in our 20s for the order numbers, so close. Let's get this subway, let's get this to the customer. We are so, so close my dudes, we are so close. The ants come marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. So it's five o'clock, I've pulled up to Boodaroom, according to Uber Maps. Uh, had super successful breakfast runs around here. So if the breakfast run was good, I know there's a lot of restaurants that start to open up soon, so maybe the dinner run will be good as well. Because Budurum, Budrum, Budurum has really good food. So fingers crossed. Hopefully you made the right decision. We'll see. So really frustrating. Just had a customer try to do an Uber scam where they put their delivery dress as the restaurant uh, and then they messaged me saying, do you, do you need my address? Like immediately, like after I collect it. Uh, and I, I, yeah, just, just ridiculous. Um, they gave an address across to me and it was 10 minutes away. At that time, because I'd, it already said I'd arrived at the customer's location, I had a stacked order come through that I'd already accepted. Uh, so I was like, I'll, I can't drive for 15 minutes to an address that's not, that one, I can't drive for 15 minutes to an address one, that I'm not being paid the amount to drive for. And two, I've got pressure from other customers to get orders across to them. Just because someone's trying to do a scam to cut down their delivery fee, I'm not dealing with it. Started the countdown, contacted Uber support, uh, got uh, the orders canceled, handed it back to the McDonald's because I was in the parking lot for it. And yeah, I call it as that, uh, already off to the next order. I've got the countdown happening to hit my target. I'm only allowed to be on the app for two more hours. So that's putting more time pressure on myself. After two more hours, I'll get cut off because I've been going for 12 hours straight. So I've just got a couple of orders to do to finish it, to hit my goal. Just I just need to do this and I don't have time to fucking stuff around with people trying to scam me. This restaurant doesn't even exist. Like on the maps, I'm like heading towards it. I'm like, where the fuck is this? Where is this sanding me? Pick up on the left. Where is this sending me, man? Like, this is not, this is not an address, man. Okay, guys, just got that job for the customer. Uber Maps went haywire. Um, had to call the customer to find out where they were. It, it just went ballistic in an apartment complex. Have another order on after this. I'm, I'm off to the second one. So I've got to do this order and then get one more order after that. And then I've hit my goal. I've got 50 minutes left to do two orders. I can do this, I swear. I can do this as long as I get another order through straight away. We are happy days. Okay, guys, I got the food. I've got it picked up. Uh, the restaurant had the address out. Uh, the restaurant's address was the back street behind it. 
So I figured that out pretty quickly. So there's a couple minutes burnt. We are running on a clock right now. We are getting this across to the customer now. And we got to get one more order afterwards. We get that one last order through, we hit our goals, we hit our targets. This is gonna be huge, but but we are so close to being kicked off the app as well. Uber Maps is killing me. Need to go down that road there. And I'm just like, it's just telling me to keep driving around these two roundabouts. It says just keep, uh, take, you know, take the, the fourth exit. And then I go through the next roundabout and it says, take the fourth exit. God dang it. Uber Maps, you are killing me. We are down to the last chunk of time left on the app before we hit 12 hours. Let's just get this done. I'm staying positive, but I am absolutely frazzled. We must get there. We can do this. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. I believe in myself. Come on, bro. Come on. We are so close to the last restaurant to pick it up. The clock is running out. The timer is running. We don't have time for red lights, bro. There it is, Hathi Indian. Come on, please be a park, please be a park. Where the fuck am I supposed to park around here, bro? No, no, come on, man, just give me, give me a fucking break. All right, we'll park up here. We have to find a park, bro. We gotta go, we gotta move. We have to we have like minutes left to get there. Where do we go? We gotta find it, man. It's like a block down. Go, 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 move. So close yet so far. This is what we go to the gym for. For moments like this. These are the moments of matter in life. Getting that last delivery from the restaurant. Let's go. Okay, we've got the last order. We've got to get to the customer. We've got minutes before we're cut off. Come on, bro, you can do this. You can do this, bro. Okay, we're so close, we are so close. This is the, this is the street, bro. This is the street. This is the street. Where is it? Where's the number? Drop off on the right. Can't see it, bro. There it is. We made it, we made it. This is huge. This is huge. We made it. Okay, let's get this food to the customer. Alrighty. Oh. It's huge. Oh. And. Okay, let's go. Wow guys, what an absolutely amazing day. That was so much fun to go through. Really put in some grind, really put in some hustle. Did the long hours and it paid off. Let's run through the numbers of what we did. Firstly, let's have a look at our deliveries. So being paid for our base pay for the deliveries, we made $330.04. Now when we add in tips on top of that, we made $16.31, which brings us in at a grand total of $346.35. At this point, we need to add on our quest bonus. We made an extra $150 for doing 30 deliveries. And finally, our referral bonus of an extra $500 for hitting them 30 deliveries. This brings us in at a grand total of, drum roll, $996.35. Absolutely huge effort. I'm super proud of myself for doing it. I think it's amazing to be able to pull that money through in a single day. Don't crucify me because I'm $3.65 short of $1,000. It's pretty much $1,000, guys. Like, cut me some slack here. I think it's an amazing effort. Some learnings on Uber Eats versus DoorDash. If you watched through all the video, you probably would have noticed me getting quite frustrated across at the Uber Maps. Uh, did not like the Uber Maps and I had some integration issues coming across from Uber Maps into Google Maps. Maybe next time I head out, I'll try it again and hopefully the maps will be integrating properly and I won't get stuck with Uber Maps the whole time. The second thing I noticed is when Uber Eats is on, it's on. It's just busy the whole time through. I'm getting a lot more stacked orders than I was getting with DoorDash. 
And I guess that kind of shows that maybe Uber Eats has got market dominance on the Sunshine Coast where I live. Other than that, guys, it's possible to make these huge numbers, maybe not in a day, maybe across a weekend or a couple of days. But guys and girls, if you want to give the Uber Eats challenge a go yourself, it is critical that you use a referral link to get that huge chunk of cash. If you want a referral link, mine's down below in the description. Click that to sign up to Uber Eats and hit the road. If I can do it, you can do it too. So give it a shot, make some money. Other than that, guys, had a lot of fun getting out there and giving Uber Eats a try. Absolutely smashed it. Made a lot of money on my first day doing it. So I'll probably give it another shot again in the future. To all the other drivers out there, drive safe, drive smart, and keep hustling. Peace out. This is my turn. This is my turn.